Hi everyone, welcome to JavaScript coding interview series. In today's video, you have to choose the one object is method output which returns false. We have four options and in that four options we are applying the object dot is method and in one case it will return false in all the other case it will return true and you have to select that particular option where it is returning false and the options are object dot is of nan comma nan it's comparing two values nan and nan nan stands for not a number and the second option is object dot is of string value test comma string value test and the third option is object dot is of an object uh, with ta and the value 1 which is comparing with another key of the same a and the value 1 and the fourth option is object dot is of undefined comma undefined so please try it from your end and see what is the output you are getting so let's try from our end and see what is the output we are getting i have this particular code written in the test.js file and this particular script i am calling in from the index.html as you can see here and so let me run this index.html and make sure that everything is running fine so i am having this up and running and let me open the console so i have this console ready so now let's see so what is object dot is doing okay so what is this method used for so as you can see here the object dot is method determines whether the two values are of the same value or not if it is same it will the return value it will indicate that whether the two arguments are the same if it is true it means that it is the same value if it is false it means that they are not of the same value and it's different and so we can actually uh, there are uh, different other operator right uh, there is an uh, double equal to operator where we are actually comparing and we have a uh, triple equal to operator as well but object dot is is not equivalent to uh, a double equal to or triple equal to because the double equal to operator applies various coefficients to both sides okay if they are not of the same type they are not checking that so before testing for uh, equality right but object dot is doesn't coerce either value similarly object dot is is also not equivalent to triple equal to operator because uh, triple equal to actually uh, uh, considers like minus zero the signed zeros right the signed zeros as uh, equal but object dot is actually uh, treat it as a different way so uh, so that is why object dot is is not equivalent to double equal to or triple equal to and the main purpose of object dot is is it determines whether the two values are of the same value or not okay and object dot is so in this our question we have object dot is of nan comma nan so let me console this particular thing so nan stands for not a number so in that case what would be the output okay so object dot nan okay so this is the comparison so what it does uh, it compares whether uh, they are of the same value or not so there are few uh, um, areas where actually object dot is returns uh, same so object dot uh, is is of the same value if one of the following holds if both are undefined okay both are undefined then it will return true so in our case for option 4 okay for the option 4 let me console this one first we will console that so when it is both are undefined so in that case <coughs> what will happen uh, object dot is returns true so let me console that okay so now it is true so this option is gone so it is returning true now if it is both are null in that case as well it returns true okay so if both true or both false in that case also it will return true and the third fourth option both strings of the same length with the same characters in the same order okay if they are of the strings okay they are strings and if the length is same and the characters are same and the order is also same then it also returns true so in our case option b okay so let me uh, copy this particular console.log okay so we'll go one by one so in this case we have uh, two strings okay two strings is uh, having the same length and the characters are same and the order is also the same okay order is also the same 
and in this case actually it returns true ok. So, if you see here so that is also returning true, but if we actually update this to small letter t ok. So, now what happens uh, characters and all are same, but it is like uh, case sensitive. So, if you see here right now the output would be false. So, it is case sensitive that you have to make sure even if the characters are same and the order is same, but if it is case sensitive uh, uh, cases are not the same then it will return false. So, it has to be uh, case has just to be the same. So, the second option is also true now ok. Now, the next thing is both the same object meaning both values reference the same object in memory ok. When it is of the same object and it is referencing the same object in the memory then also it returns true. Both begins with the same numeric value both symbols that reference the same simple value both numbers ok and both uh, plus 0 uh, both minus 0 both nan ok. So, both nan also returns true. So, in our case the first option right. So, let me try to print that. So, if I try to print uh, both nan so in this case it also returns uh, true let us see in action ok. So, that is also returning true. So, you might have guessed the output that uh, third option is the right answer, but we will see ok. So, now we have seen that uh, earlier that object dot is is not equivalent to triple equal to operator ok. So, why we uh, mentioned that is so if I just console this again ok, console this again and if we compare nan ok nan and nan in triple equal to ok. So, in object dot is when you compare a nan and nan it return true, but if you uh, use triple equal to it returns false that is why we say that object dot is is not equivalent to triple equal to ok. In triple equal to nan uh, is returning false nan compared with another nan is returning, but treats nan as not equal to each other ok in the case of triple equal to. Uh, but what happens in object dot is it returns true. So, that is the main difference between object dot is and uh, triple equal to and also this plus 0 and minus 0 ok. So, plus 0 ok if I put plus 0 and minus 0 and here also the plus 0 and minus 0 in this case what happens. So, object dot is is returning false but object dot uh, uh, this triple equal to is returning uh, true because it uh, considers uh, signed zeros as uh, zeros itself ok. So, that is the main difference between uh, uh, object dot is and triple equal to. So, that is one area you can just explore more and now we have this uh, for third option ok. So, now it will be actually returning uh, because all the other one actually has returned uh, true right. So, let me just try to print that. So, that is returning false. So, here actually we have seen that uh, both the same object meaning both values reference the same object in memory, but in this case uh, it is referencing to the same values, but in memory it will be different right. The object might be in the different places that is why it is returning false ok. It is referencing to the same object, but in memory the memory location would be different. So, it has to be the same memory then only this object dot is will be comparing and it will be returning true. Okay. So, uh, for compare comparison you can uh, use this object dot is and you can uh, for signed zeros and all you can use the object dot is method. So, this is very helpful. So, you can explore more on this ob object dot is and uh, uh, explore more on this ok. So, thanks a lot for watching that is it for today's video we will be coming up for with uh, uh, more videos in the up upcoming series ok. So, that is it thanks a lot for watching.